But this is a modern monarchy that he has talked about wanting to create and build. How does he go about doing that? Because while people support a monarchy, there's so much talk about not feeling represented necessarily. What does he need to do from this day forward to get people that are in this crowd watching him, or maybe not even here, to support him and to be behind him? It's such an important question, Dana. And as we've been celebrating here, there's lots of people here. We should also, just for accuracy, let us you know somebody got arrested in Trafalgar Square, who is, is anti-monarchy. So the country has mixed views on the monarchy. I think what King Charles has to do is be really visible. I don't think he should be hidden away after all this pomp and circumstance. I think people would like to hear from him. I think he should make a speech to the public. I think we want him to be visible. You were saying you even want him maybe to reach out to Harry and Meghan, that that could play a really important role, the relationship with them. We just saw Harry getting oh. into the car right here. Absolutely. And that's a role Look, that... We've seen Harry. We walked, ha watched Harry walk in a bit alone, actually, as he's walking up the yeah. aisle. We now see him getting in his car. He'll probably be flying back to America. And I think for a lot of particularly young Britons, they really felt excited when Meghan Markle came into the family. They really loved Harry and Meghan. That was modernity for the British royal family. Seeing a woman of colour, an American woman, come in was huge. And the way they were treated for many was really upsetting. And they represent modern Britain. If everything we've seen today is old-fashioned Britain, they represented a different kind of, of world. And I think Charles would be wise to reach out to them.